Hey, what's going on everybody? Rod with Saltwater Tile. I wanted to post a quick video talking about some of the challenges that we've experienced lately with glass tile. We're on a backsplash job right now and we've been asked to install these tiles. Four inch by four inch Lunata Bay tiles. This is solid glass. You can see right through it. And uh, this is a very expensive product. I think each of these tiles are like $16 a piece. The whole backsplash uh, was like over 30 square feet. And so it was, yeah, $4,800 worth of tile uh, that was purchased only to fail. So we did everything we knew to do. We troweled the mortar on. We flattened it. It was nice and smooth. We set these tiles into the mortar. Everything looked great. Now, it took us two weeks to get back to the job to grout it. So when we got back, I was devastated. I looked at the backsplash and we had experienced something called ghosting. This is a term that I had never heard before as it relates to the tile industry. This is what ghosting looks like. So through the tile, the mortar right in the center all rolled to the edges on the majority of the tiles and it left this really ugly void. So that's what it looked like when we show back up to grout. Uh, obviously the homeowner rejected the job and I didn't know what I was going to do or how to fix this. So I reached out to the tile manufacturer and I reached out to the adhesive representative. Now here's something that a lot of you may not know. When you're dealing with glass tiles, uh, something like this, a really expensive product, check out the website because on the website they have a list of approved mortars that you can use with their product. Thankfully, I used one of the approved mortars. So the representative of the tile company and uh, the representative for the mortar, they they helped me out. We're going to reinstall this backsplash. Um, so they supplied, you know, nine more boxes of tile and pretty much everything I needed to try again. This is what was recommended, though. They wanted me to skim coat the back of all the tiles prior to installation. So I did this here with a tinted blue mortar, uh, twilight blue. That's what we're going to grout it with when we're done. So I also tinted the adhesive as per their recommendation, the same color. And so what I've done by, by doing this is I've created a layer between the tile and the mortar when we go to install it so you won't see through it. But you do get a nice effect. I mean, look how dark it makes the tile. Here's the clear one and there's the darker one. You certainly can't see through it now. Uh, and, it, and it does look a lot prettier. I mean, a lot of the iridescent colors stand out now. Uh, so hopefully when we go to reinstall this, we won't have this ghosting problem. I'll keep you guys updated as to the progress, but I'll show you a little bit about how we went about skim coating the back of these tiles. All right, so for skim coating the back of these tiles, uh, these are some of the products we used. It's a glass tile adhesive. This is the mortar that we used from Laticrete. Um, it does really well with a lot of glass tiles. Unfortunately, we, we experienced this ghosting problem this time around, but hopefully what we're gonna do will solve that. Um, Permacolor Select sells these boxes of colorant. Now this is actually platinum, but the color we used was Twilight Blue. So what you do is open up the box, and you open up this plastic um, bag. There's another plastic bag inside. And Laticrete sells these. You can get these little containers. They have like a mark on them uh, that lets you know how much water to put in there. And then you drop a, a packet of color in there, shake it up really well, and then you can tint your mortar. So anytime you're dealing with glass tiles and you want to tint the back of them, uh, this is how we did it. All right, so what we're doing here is polishing the glass tiles. Um, 
now that they've all set up and we're just putting a little squirt of vinegar solution on them and buffing them out in case we got anything on the tops from the uh, process of spreading mortar on the colored mortar on the uh, backs of them so here's Jocelyn helping me out today can you say hi Joss Hello. all right and I got another little helper here can Hello. you say hi hi right, that, Regan. that's Reagan we got the crew here helping so it's a bit of a process but it'll turn out really nice